idea what you're saying now. You're precariously perched as I have <laughs> project in the works. And I actually made these wreaths. <laughs> and yes, that one's kind of going to work in a that way direction. So <laughs> I thought that would be a lot harder to do. My friend slash sister was pulling out great vines and that was a comedy in and of itself. So I'm like, you know what the hey, I'll start making wreaths out of them. So <laughs> then she forgot hers. So she's off in Michigan, so I'm going to surprise her by sending her the one that she wanted, but I'll make her a wreath. You know, because I fit, think this will fit in the box. You know, go with it. <laughs> so well, I have Davy's plans. So this is my surprise gift haul. And we did our grocery shopping today, so yet again I ended up at the well, I think three days in a row. <laughs> so yesterday on our, you know, girl's day out, we went to the well and she can't use the card because it's only on the East Coast. So she, you know, her stamps went on my card, so it filled up a card. I'm like, okay, well maybe I'll save it for something good. So we went back today, wasn't really planning on it. So like, you want to go to the well? Yeah, sure. So I did manage to find a few things. <laughs> and I did manage to get this. I can't really find like teeny tiny co cornucopias, but this is, you know, a fairly decent size. I wouldn't go any bigger than this. A little smaller would be nice, but I think this was what, 50 cents or a dollar? So, yay. And I had <laughs> a bouquet of this in there. But I'd rather put my own stuff in. It was a dollar. So somebody bought a bouquet and stuffed it in the cornucopia. So this stuff will go on wreath. <laughs> so it'll serve a purpose, and I just want the empty cornucopia. It has little bits and pieces. But it's too soon to put it up yet. So I found that, and I kind of eyeballed. I don't know if I saw this before or not. There was like a bigger one. You know, like an actual little... Think of a jewelry box you hang on your wall. Somebody bought that one. Then there was one that is exactly what I got for free from my sister. And then there was this little teeny tiny one, which will be perfect for my little teeny tiny bottles of booze. <laughs> so... <laughs> and just little bottles in general, because they don't take up any more space than this. And this was a book. So I'm not sh you know, I think I'll put it this way. Pencil. <laughs> yeah, but guess I can fit them down here and then that'll be perfect. So I got some hardware to stick on the back. No, I just don't quite know where to put them. I have no wall space as you can tell. Hmm. They might go in a better way. You know, if I was a foot taller, I could utilize the very top space better than anything. So, we'll see. I know what to do with it, I just don't know where to put it. Crap section there. And wandering around, I found, I saw this before and I'm like, mm, do I want it, do I need it? Not really, but I got it anyway. Because <laughs> I like these little glass jars. I don't need a bow for anything. So, that's neat. And this I think you'd find at a dollar at Michael's anyway, so. A cute little jar, and I like the stopper. So I just gotta wash that. And this this just got me a prettiness anyways. And this was another dollar. And that's gonna go behind me too. I seem to be overgrowing my stuff here. And this actually came from Avon. So I didn't know it was parfum de something or other. Yeah. It seems like this top doesn't go with this. This, I don't know. It seems like this doesn't fit this top. But there might have been like a plastic stopper like this was. Because this is really kind of loose. So, but it's a, but it's the same kind of crystal. So there might have been like a plastic thing that kind of held it on a little better. Hmm. I don't know, I just might have a 
pretty jar. I don't know if this is... <laughs> I was kind of hoping the mouth would be bigger than this, because this is kind of... For my fat fingers, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what my plan for that is now. But it's dirty. Put pepper in that, probably. Uh, and at that point, I had had, like, four dollars worth of stuff. So I ended up finding this for 50 cents. And I'm hoping if I go, go to the racetrack, I might be able to sneak into the VIP. <laughs> because I found this. So I'll have to put my thing of, my race thing on it. So, I don't know what Champions Club is, so I don't know if I can get into the VIP now. <laughs> and that's the only speedway we have around here. I think Dover's the next one. So, I had to get that. At the track, you're probably looking at like three, four dollars just for this. Everything's so freaking expensive at the track. And to make sort of like that final little five dollars worth so I can get a stamp, I saw this. I thought it was kind of cool, and I'm like, well, I don't know. So for 50 cents more, I got a piece of... Probably granite, because it looks like everything else in New England. <laughs> but it's kind of a neat neat piece of... You know, stone. <laughs> it says something on the back, round top. So I don't quite know what the hell that means. But it's a slab of North America, and they put a stupid candle in here. Mm -hmm. Which smells that way, actually not good, actually. Ooh, it smells like soap. <sighs> but that just makes a good vote of holder anyway, so I'd rather have my own candle in it. So that that's just cool. <laughs> I'm going to need a bigger space behind me. <laughs> mm. Mm, that smells good. <laughs> so I don't know... If the candle originally came with it? Probably. So, I ended up using thoughts that aren't coming to head. Uh, so I had the five dollars, and then as I'm going out, or going out, but you know, to the place where you trade money for goods, up on the wall they had this, and they had another one there that was purple, and I already have a purple one like this, so I'm like, you know, you know, how much is the, you know, bag up on a thing? And she kind of turns around and she goes, oh, well, three ninety nine. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. So I had like almost $9 worth of stuff. So I got like this and a couple other things for free. So I, I've got my LL Bean bag for free. And I was Googling on the way back, on the way to Walmart there. And this is like a $20 bag, 30 maybe. <laughs> Being LL Bean. It's like, hell yeah, I'll take it. And I like the blue one anyway. And I didn't really, you know, of course you couldn't see it on the wall, but it's, you know, a little bigger than what I usually use. They call it like a book bag, which is perfect because it's like big enough for, you know, like a folder or notepad, that type of thing. And I like the separate pockets and it's a lot more impressive than I thought it would be actually. Those were like little extra pockets. So it's like the purple one. But the purple one has side pockets, which is kind of useful sometimes. So, I now have a fancy L.L. Bean bag. But it's no more impressive than any other bags I got. It's just 100% nylon. But I thought it was funny inside that has, like, <laughs> all the warnings, and you can put your name, and... I don't know if the person originally had... Well, there's no information on the tag, but it goes, I have diabetes, for the caregiver. Uh, well, educational book packs are not insulated, they're not suitable or intended for storing or transporting medication. Uh, so, <laughs> I have no idea why. <sighs> why they have strange information in LL Bean packs. I do not have diabetes, fortunately. So, <laughs> oh well. So I thought that was a rather good haul, so I got a lot of good stuff for four dollars and an odd number of change. Uh, so, let's see. My bag was four dollars, housewares, 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 dollar. So, it would have been ten dollars and I paid four fifty. <laughs> I am okay with that. So, now to figure out what to do with the stuff that I buy. 
<laughs> Thank you for watching. Do remember to comment, rate, share, and subscribe. There's always room for one more at the Strange and Exotic. See you next time. Bye. Uh, where to start? Mm.